that now Liverpool have made a formal request to PGMOL for the audio conversations between the officials from Saturday's defeat at Tottenham. Now, you may remember that will include Dan Cook, who was the assistant VAR, the VAR himself, which was Darren England, and of course Simon Hooper, who was the referee on the pitch at the time. <laughs> Big up, lads. Big up from all the way Tassie, Tasmania, uh, in Australia. Okay, so, what a game. Uh, now, there has never been a game that I've watched um, where I have seen our team given so much of their passion, heart, desire. They wear their badge proudly, like the one that they've done for the last game against Spurs. Now, if we get into the political side of things, obviously everything's kind of gone against us. But even though the world was against us, what did we do? We showed the world. We don't give a crap about what you try, what, whatever you put in front of us, how many of our wrong decisions you give against us. But we are going to be determined. We are going to show you what the Liverpool way is. And that is what the boys have done. That is what the manager tried to do and every single Liverpool player who's played this game, hats off to them. Going a man down early and then going another man down, it's never going to be easy but we have to be really proud for the boys. The boys, they, they made us proud, they made us really proud. And I have never felt more passionate and more happy for a loss. This might be a loss according to the points. This might be a loss according to the media and everyone else. But for us, this was a big win. They have won our hearts again. They have made us believers again. And they have shown us very promising signs. I'm just so proud to support this club and I'm so proud for each and every single player on the pitch and Joel Matip it is it is hard it is saddening what happened with the own goal but look we need to give him all the support we can even at this age even after all these you know burnouts he's had yet he has been a true soldier so let's get behind Joel Matip and the rest of the boys and let's go guys this season's gonna be special Topics community. It's another viewer's review. Tottenham 2, Liverpool 1. And honestly, gut wrenching. Gut wrenching. Um, where do we start? I think at 11 men, when it was 11 v 11, I thought we were the better team. Uh, we created more chances. And unfortunately, I have, to, I have to agree with the referee. I think he made the right decision. It's a red card. Uh, Curtis Jones is in no way in control of his body. Yes, he goes over the ball, but if Basuma's. Uh, Foot is plied. That's a leg breaker, man. It's a nasty, nasty challenge, and I think he deserves to go off. That being said, I think Liverpool uh, stayed really strong. Um, they stayed compact. They played on the counter. They had a clear game plan, clear contingency plan to go uh, when we were one 0 down, and we executed it well as much to perfection as possible. And then the offside, like I, you know what, you're right. I don't like to do the whole tin foil hat thing, yeah. But I swear to you, the, the, that offside for me is so dubious. It's unreal. Like, it just puts such a... Like, fair enough, right? You've gone down to 10 men or whatnot, and it's a frustrating thing. But it is a red card. But that is just an absolute disgrace. I can't lie to you. Diaz is... You don't even need lines. You don't need Microsoft Paint to figure out that, that Diaz is onside. Like, come on, man. Like, what is going on? It is absolutely ludicrous. The PGMOL have come out and give, given a statement. They've said, oh, it was a human error. Yeah, the, error, the, the errors are the humans that you employ and that you train. Yeah, like these guys suck. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I'm. I, I just. I can't fathom how you've gone and said, "Yeah, it's offside." Second of all, why is the linesman putting his flag up when it's that tight and it resulted in a goal? The game has stopped anyway, so VAR is gonna look at it anyhow. Why the hell are you looking at? Why are you putting your flag up? Like, I just don't get it, man. And this whole idea, oh, we're gonna with the PGMO, we're gonna investigate and contact Liverpool. No, you don't need to contact us. Yeah, I want to contact, my foot wants to contact one of your guys' behind. Like, I'm that furious. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm fuming at that decision. The statement coming out of it, I would much prefer if they said nothing. Like, 
we know refereeing is bad. We've been talking about this for decades. And you come out and you, oh, I just can't, anyway, moving on. Um, I've, I'm getting myself worked up now for no reason. And yeah, okay, fine. Uh, um, Tottenham, they go 1-0 up. That's fine. Uh, Liverpool respond really well. We get a set piece. And um, Gakpo, despite being, despite basically being on his last leg, he still find, managed to find the net. Uh, he come off injured. And then this, for some strange reason, the referee decided, yeah, we'll let them play with nine men and then let two minutes of injury time ca carry on extra two minutes for absolutely no reason because we scored a goal. We barely, because, because uh, what's it? He got treatment. What? Just like, come on, man. Like, what are we doing here, man? Just end the game. Like, we're down to nine men. Like, They've got they've got a half of football where sorry we're down to ten men they've got an entire half forty five minutes of football where they're gonna where they've got an advantage and anyway in the second half um, again I thought Liverpool were really really dogged uh, we did everything that we could to keep ourselves within the game obviously Tottenham dominated us and Matt described it best in the watch long he said that Liverpool not uh, Tottenham are not playing against Liverpool they're playing against the clock and ultimately look they 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 dis in in actuality they did deserve to win the game Diogo Jota the first yellow card was absolutely uh, pants, another, another, another disgraceful decision, and then the second yellow card. However, that is definitely yellow card. He doesn't need to do that. He tries to do. He tries to bite off more than he can chew. He loses the ball in a two v one. He, he flings his leg out a challenge, and then he gets himself sent off. It's definitely it's a, it's a second second yellow card. It's just the first one is is what's concerning. It's is 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 what was not a, red, a yellow card for me. Um, and then yeah, you're thinking that, you know, Liverpool are, nine man Liverpool are going to sneak away from top, uh, White Hart Lane. Or whatever the ground is called with with a point, but unfortunately Joel Matip puts the ball into the back of the net. I don't think they could have. I don't think there's anything he could have done to be honest with you. He does the right thing. He tries to clear it, but the only thing I could say is maybe use your left foot instead of your right. Your right foot is clearing the ball towards the goal. Your left foot would have cleared it out for a corner, but it's neither here nor there. It is what it is. Such is life. Um, I think what I will say is I, I echo what Klopp said. The fight, the desire, the 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 will willingness to stay in the game. I think you've got to take your hat off to Liverpool. I think we, I don't, I don't think Tottenham Hotspur can walk away from this game and think, okay, yeah, you took the three points, you're still unbeaten, that's fine. But you can't walk away and 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 act like like you've covered yourself in any glory. Like we were down to ten men for for more than an hour. We were down to nine men for what twenty five minutes, half an hour. It's, it, to be honest with you, and you guys were just just farting around our box like couldn't create anything. Um, your number nine does not know where the back of the net is. Um, it is what it is, but. Yeah, uh, my other concern is the fact that phew, we're going into Brighton. We don't have Gakpo because, in fact, we don't have Gak We don't know how long he's out for, so he's not going to be available for Bright away to Brighton. Um, Diogo Jota is not going to be available now, and neither is Jones for three games. I don't think the red card will get overturned for Jones. I don't think because uh, Jota will have one game ban. I don't think that's. I don't think they uh, overturn two yellows. Um, other than that, man, I'm really deflated, but at the same time. I'm proud as well. So it's kind of like a defiance as well as like disappointment. Disappointment and defiance. I think that's the best way to describe it. But anyway, people, um, remember, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, send in your views with you. I'm out. Peace. Big up Kopish, big up the viewers. I haven't done a viewers review for a long time, but today I felt obliged. I felt obliged to do one, even though I'm very busy. I had to do one after that shit game yesterday against Spurs. Spurs to Liverpool one. I'm so proud of the players, first of all. So proud, man. What a game they played. I feel so, so sorry for Matip. He had a very good game as well. It's not his fault. It happens. Tiredness. It happens playing nine against eleven. If we are football players, you already know how difficult this is. Well, everybody is talking about the same thing, yeah. Bad decisions. I just want to point out, point out one thing. Now, after tw twenty-four hours, they are saying that the one, the people who were in the bar. Yeah, they thought that goal was given. Yeah, they thought the goal was given. That's why they didn't do any. They they saw they saw it was on sign, but since they thought the goal was given, they didn't take any more action. They say VAR check complete. That's all. The the message was sent to the referee. VAR check complete. Now, 
They say because Spurs already took the free kick, the, the offside, they couldn't stop the game and reverse the decision. What kind of nonsense is this? Huh? Remember the game Brighton against Man United? The final whistle was already blown. The game ended. They reviewed the decision and they gave Man United a penalty. The game was 1-1, I think, and United won by scoring the penalty. And now they are telling me, telling me that because they already take the free kick, the 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 goal could not be given and the, the the decision could not be reversed because of that something has to be done guys something has to be done it, it's not acceptable i don't know <laughs> people or i see people re are writing email to premier league and uh, referees and all this nonsense i don't think it will work but we need as fans you have a platform we need to think about what can be done big up guys